tackling standpoint, but they got to do a lot for John Fox. To announce the Denver Broncos selection, please welcome from Savannah State University, the 192nd overall pick in the 1990 draft by the Denver Broncos, 2011 Hall of Fame inductee, tight end Shannon Sharp. With the 45th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select, welcome to the family, Mr. Raheem Moore, safety, UCLA. That's Shannon Sharp, ate me up for about four years. Raheem Moore, Mel, three-year starter. Everybody remembers what he did two years ago. What was your main influence in growing up? Who did you want to pattern your game that way? Oh, Ed Reed. Ed Reed, um, I'm something I was watching him in college. Um, I remember the first time I seen him, he had like a little perm in his head. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, they was talking about how much he used the safety, and I was getting into playing safety. And I seen him make some plays versus Florida State, and I said, I want to play like him. And um, every year I always learn something new. So you think you could do a little press coverage if you have to play the nickel or be the third corner? Uh, of course. I've, I've, I've done it before. And I figured, like, you know, if you're a safety, free safety, I think you should play all positions, you know, strong in the corner. You know, that makes you an overall player, you know? Last one for me, though, because I want to let my colleagues get a shot at you. Okay. What do you, um, you know, what's your favorite route to cover against the opposing receiver? Ooh, um, I'd probably say the center route, which is the corner. Yeah, yeah. Corner, you know, because, um, you know, I have that closing speed, so the man I realize, you know, he can clear this route, you know, I can easily drive him to the upfield shoulder. You know, I think that's my route. Absolutely. Appreciate it. As far as the safety position goes, what do you bring to the table that team should want to draft you? Oh, um, range. You know, um, you know, great route, route recognition. You know, a guy who understands, you know, the field. You know, understands, you know, sudden change of the game on, you know, when to bait quarterbacks and when to, you know, show the skies and be at another place at the snap of the ball. And also a guy who's going to come down and just make plays, man. You know, be a playmaker. You know, get the ball back in all his hands. And if a team drafts me, I, I, you know, um, I'd be delighted to do that. I've done it throughout my years, and now I'm with a team to do it. What did they ask you to play special teams? Oh, I love it. I love to do it. You know, in high school, I was a punter and a kicker. So, you know, I've, I have some background. You know, and uh, I figure, like, the more you're on the field, the more you can do, the more plays you make, the more valuable you are. What was the best part of this experience going from the end of your college career to this date? Oh, just, uh, I think the main part was probably just living out my dream, first of all, and also just having my family all involved, you know, especially coming from here, uh, coming to New York, just having this experience, you know, seeing and hearing from years back. And it's like now, you know, you're, um, you know, you're, you're in it now, so it's like you're living the moment, you're living the dream. So I think that was the main part, the main part. And also I knew that I had to, uh, you know, become a young man and make, you know, more wise decisions. So I think that's the main thing. And just, you know, just play with good eyes. Just have fun. That's it. But you're going to shake his hand for us, right? I mean, I doubt if he shake mine. I'm going to put my hand down. He might say, when can you get out of here? So, you know, so, yeah, I'm just going to go out there and play and have fun. After the game. Yeah, after the game, we all fun. Yeah, we all good. What was your first thought when you learned that you made it into the draft? Ooh, uh, it's funny you say that. I, I was just like, man, uh, from all the years I used to just pray when I was younger, and just want to be a difference maker for my family. And it's like, believe it or not, I'm here. I remember it was like, I can think about it like it was yesterday. I was putting on my Ball Hill Brewing helmet and Pop Warner. And it's like, now nah, I'm putting on a new helmet. So, so um, it just show you how hard work can pay off. And also just, you know, trusting in God is, is, is a main key. And um, so it, it can get you far. What advice would you give young guys that are trying to get to your position? Um, first of all, um, you know, always work at your craft. You know, never let anybody tell you what you can't do because, you know, growing up, people told me I was too skinny to play this game and that I'll be another guy out of Los Angeles who won't make it. So, you know, I know if I can do it, you know, they can. And also just, you know, you know, doing doing right things on the field and off the field, you know, trusting your parents, you know, um, respecting them, and also just put yourself in a, um, put the right people around you, you know, uh, 
block out all the distractions and just make sure that you're uh, you just prayed up at all times and just work hard. Work hard. You gotta it's a sacrifice too. Sometimes you can't party, sometimes you can't hang out. You gotta you know stay in the family room or just stay on the grass. That's all you gotta do. And once you do that, you'd be surprised how much that stuff pay off. So you, you were asked uh, in, in a lot of the interviews, what, what type of locker room guy are you? What, what type of locker room guy are you? And, and <laughs> how would you deal with different personalities? I mean, you may have, you know, the flashy guy that, yeah. that wants the attention. Um, you know, so how, what kind of guy are you and, and how do you deal with different personalities? Oh, I'll just be myself. You know, um, I'm, a, I'm a people person. You know, I'm a guy where, you know, okay, if I know that you're a quiet dude, I won't come at you all, you know, all loud and stuff. But if you're a guy that's, you know, my my type of person where you, you know you're loud and hyperactive, then it's all good. But you know, UCLA, we had all type of guys, quiet guys, you know, guys that didn't say anything, and guys that would be loud to to the max. So, you know, I just do me. You know, I'm a guy where it's like I don't have a problem in the locker room, but a lot of guys respect me because they know that hey, this dude Raheem's gonna get in at six, and he's gonna he's gonna be the last one leaving. He's gonna be he's gonna be leaving after the janitor. So. You know, the guys respect that. Last question. Raheem, there's uh, reports coming out that the Jets might take you today. Have you spoken to Coach Ryan at all? No, not at all. Um, I would love to visit the Jets. I would love to make New York my home. Um, I know that his scheme is what I'm looking for. You know, and, uh, he's a great coach. And also, you know, going there, you can easily be in the Super Bowl next year. So that's a great thing. And also, I would love to play, you know, with uh, you know guys like uh, Revis and, no Cromartie, so that'd be a blessing.